Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another vlog. I just recently got back from Montego Bay, Jamaica, and so I wanted to kind of show you what I did while I was there. Before I get into this video, I want to say that there are different kinds of trips. There are some where you do a lot of excursions and a lot of activities, and then there are some that are purely restful. And this was one of those vacations. So this is less of an informative video and more of my just showing you what I did. August is kind of an off season for travel to Jamaica, so I got through the airport with no problem. I did not have to wait in line at all, which was great. At this point, it's customary for me to take a private transfer from the airport to my accommodations because I really don't want to have to share a space with anyone. But in this case, I totally could have skipped that and taken a taxi because the airport is literally about 10 minutes away from the main area where all of the resorts are. I stayed at Zotri Wellness Resort and although the grounds and the views were beautiful, I have to say the resort overall left a little to be desired. One of the things that I've noticed and I'm coming to expect about the Caribbean is that things move at a much slower pace than in America and so it took a long time for my room to be ready, it took a long time for all of the meals to be prepared. And it's not necessarily a negative thing, it just was a little bit of an inconvenience as far as this trip, as it was supposed to be very restful and relaxing. I did like that the resort was very quiet and secluded and had a private beach, so can you really complain when you have views to look at like these? Coco Cafe opened up breakfast and this is the place to get coffee, tea, fruit, and pastries. So if you didn't want like a full on breakfast, this was the place to be. On the other hand, if you didn't want to take your lunch or dinner in your room, then this was the dining area to come to for lunch and dinner. This place had more Americanized food and I'm not really a fan of that when I go to another country just because I'd like to have the authentic cuisine. So this place, Jerky Joe's, was my absolute favorite place to eat for lunch. The first day they asked me if I'd like to try everything and this is what everything is. On this plate there's the main thing which is jerk chicken and then there's sausage, pork, plantains, sweet corn, cabbage and festival which is like a fried dumpling. After I had that for lunch I finally made it to my room and this was one of the most beautiful parts of the resort to me. Look at this room. I love the decor and it was just such a beautiful space. Not only were all of the meals included in the package, but there were some nice complimentary items like these slippers, there was a fully stocked mini bar, and then complimentary champagne and rum that could also be replaced on request. As soon as I unpacked everything and got everything squared away in the room, I immediately headed out to the beach and that's the only thing I did on the first day for the entire day. I like to buy these wellness magazines at Walgreens, they're called Breathe. And so I love to take them to the beach with me because they have some really great articles on creativity, on stress relief, meditation, and on wellness practices. So that's what I'm reading here on the beach. Aside from reading, everything is just so beautiful and so scenic that I truly do love to just lay there and appreciate nature and just take it all in because that is so relaxing to me. This swing set was super cute to me and how often do adults get to do something that you just enjoy doing as a kid?
I'm headed out to dinner and I just threw on this Agua Bandita sarong and then this um, beach cover up from Pretty Little Thing, but I just tied it at the waist. When I mentioned earlier that August is not the most popular travel month for Jamaica, this is why. There's always the chance of rain or tropical storms or even hurricanes and you could potentially lose a day to this kind of weather. There was a little break in the weather where I was able to go downstairs and get more jerk food for lunch. People said, when you come to Jamaica to get the jerk chicken, and they are not aligned at all. I used the rest of the day to catch up on rest, to catch up on work and Netflix and then I was able to go back out for dinner that night when the weather was calmer. Came back from dinner, my bed was made and they put little Hershey Kisses on the pillows. That's so cute. There was berry cheesecake for dessert. So I brought it back to the room with me. I didn't feel like eating it down there. Hopefully it's good, it looks good. The next day I took my morning afternoon tea out here on the dock and it was just one of the most serene things I have ever experienced. I was originally supposed to leave at 9.30 for the only activity I had planned for this trip which was Martha Bray river rafting but because the river was so high due to the storm I had to wait until the afternoon so I had a lot of time to kill and I used that time as an opportunity to just kick it out here. I was finally able to make it out to Martha Bray and this was definitely one of the coolest things I have ever done. My tour guide's name was Damien and he was such a super sweet guy. I had a lot of questions and he had a lot of answers about just the river and the surrounding area, the vegetation and how they make the rafts. So he gave me a lot of information where that was concerned. At the shallowest, the river is about four feet deep. At the deepest, it's about 35 feet deep. The bamboo that you just saw is what they use to make the rafts. It's actually imported and it grows about three to four inches a day, which is incredible to me. They band them together and they use them to make these rafts. And the rafts last about six months before they have to make another one. It's about three miles long and it's just so quiet and peaceful out there. I honestly could have floated for longer. Damien showed me some of his handmade goods, one of which was this calabash cup. And I ended up buying one because I just thought this was beautiful. When I got back, I just used that as an opportunity to go back to the beach to relax and take in more of the scenery. things that I did not know about Jamaica was that the colors of the flag are actually symbolic. The black is for the people, the gold is for wealth and sunlight, and the green is for hope and vegetation. And I was honestly just blown away by how richly green all of the vegetation was there. So I spent a lot of time admiring that. And one of the things that I always kick myself about when I come back from a trip is not getting a lot of imagery and footage of the people. That is something that I wish I had done more of and that I will try to keep in mind going forward because the people were just so amazing. They were so helpful, they were so sweet, so warm and so welcoming and I just felt so well cared for. Even though I did not get any imagery of the people, I definitely bought something from every single vendor that was on the ground. I just love that when I go to other countries, the items are handmade and they're just so beautiful. The woodwork, the knitwork, the leather goods, just beautiful. This trip was specifically for relaxation, but I definitely intend to go back to Jamaica to explore so much of what I didn't see. Jamaica is an absolutely beautiful country, so if it's not on your list, I would definitely add it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye.